Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do some complex examples on trine problems. You know, previous classes we clearly discussed some formula and we have provided some graphical intuition. So please watch those classes. We we are going to use that intuition. Without that, we cannot solve the examples. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Let's take the example. Two stations A and B are 110 kilometers apart. Means there are two stations. The distance between them is 110 kilometers on a straight line. One train starts from A at 7 a.m. and travels towards B at 20 kilometers per hour. See, speed has been given here. And what time they started? It, it has been provided. Another train starts from B at 8 a.m. Means it started one hour late after A started. Point to remember. And travels towards A at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour. At what time they will meet? At what time they will meet? That is what they are trying to ask. So with the graphical intuition, you will get an idea how to solve this. One train started from A at a speed of 20 km per hour at 7 am. Another train started from B at 8 am at 25 km per hour and they both going to meet somewhere at the middle. We don't know at what point, at what time they are going to meet. But we know one thing when we discussed the formula. Two trains moving in the opposite direction if they meet somewhere means both trains travelled up to here same time. It traveled t seconds, it traveled t seconds. This is the intuition we provided. And they are going to cover a distance of this total distance. Using these two points, we can solve easily. These two points explained when we discussed the formula. Now coming to they meet at some point. Assume they meet at meet x hours after 7 am. Means after 7 am, it takes x hours of time. Assume that, assume that. Now we have to identify x. Distance covered by A. Speed has been given. Total distance we are assuming that some you, you no need to total distance we are assuming it as a oh, we are assuming total distance as x. So distance covered by A is equal to 20x. And distance covered by B is 25x minus 1. Means after see you here assume they meet x hours so this is x is it traveled x hours it traveled x hours that is what x is okay they, they both meet at the same time means they traveled equal amount of time before they meet that is what this x is so distance covered by a at x hours is 20x because speed distance is speed into time time is x hours Distance covered by B is given as 25 speed. It started one hour late. That's why it is taking as X minus 1. Okay. It covered some distance. It covered some distance. Summation of these two distance equal to total distance. 20X plus 25 X minus 1 equal to 110 kilometers. It was already provided 110 kilometers. So when you solve 45 x is equal to 135 x is equal to 3 so they met at 10 am x is equal to 3 means 3 hours after 7 am it's 10 o'clock so the points the points in order to solve these type of examples the points are they they travel same amount of time before they meet and they travel a total distance these two points you have to remember you have to you have to get an idea these ideas provided when we discussed the formula now coming to the second example similar example a train x starts from m at 4 pm and reaches g at 5 pm means it traveled one hour to reach from m to g while another train start y starts at g at 4 pm and reaches m at 5 30 pm they have provided time here in the previous example they have provided the speed here they are providing the time. How much time they are going to take from one point to other point? How much time they are taking from another point? From other point to this point? That is what they have provided. The two trains will cross each other at. At what time they are going to cross? 
so they provided assuming that uh, the distance covered the total distance is assumed at x kilometers uh, and we already know the from the diagram we know that uh, they meet somewhere at the middle means they travels equal time they travel some amount of time equal amount of time and the distance covered is x these two trains are going to cover a distance of x kilometers means total distance now using this time by x time taken by x means one train started x from here to cover x kilometers means total distance is one hour it is given in the question time taken by the train y to cover x kilometers is 3 by 2 hour one and a half hour they have mentioned so it can be written as 3 by 2 hour so time has been provided now you can identify speed speed of x is equal to x kilometers per hour that is how we got this x kilometers per hour distance by time distance is x what is the time one hour speed of y is 2 by 3 x how we got this 2 by 3 x distance by time what's the distance x distance divided by what's the time 3 by 2 3 by 2 hour 3 by 2 if you go up 2 by 3 x so speed of uh, x and y has been provided so in the question they have mentioned a train starts uh, from m and at 4 a pm and reaches g at 5 pm means it takes one hour to cross the entire distance to take that assume they meet y hours after 4 pm similarly we have done the above example also assume they meet y hours after 4 pm whenever they meet they are going to cover the entire distance speed has been given so you can identify distance distance covered by first train is x speed is x multiplied by what is the time it covered y hours plus distance covered by distance covered by g means the train started from g is given as a speed is 2 by 3 x what's the time y so both the distance summation of both the distance equal to total distance total distance is x so if you solve this y is equal to y multiplied by 1 plus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 by 5 hour how we convert into minutes uh, y is equal to 3 by 5 multiplied by 60 that is equal to 36 minutes uh, after they started at 4 o'clock they started 4 36 they they are going to meet that is what uh, you have to identify hope you understand the examples uh, so this these type of examples will be asked in our exams hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you